I'm going to start with a graph. It's climate change. It involves graphs. Stop watching if you like. You wouldn't be the first. Okay, here we go. This is the Earth's thermometer. The temperature of the whole planet changing over time. Zero is 1850, before we started burning fossil fuels, before the Industrial Revolution. Then we start burning and the temperature starts going up and up. We were all making the same calculation. Why should I have a wind farm spoiling my view while everyone else is flying? What's the point of me cutting my carbon if nobody else is cutting theirs? A child could tell you how to solve that one. When it came down to it, we put our scenic views and our holidays in Thailand and our big cars above other people's lives and above future people's existence. Our grandparents were asked to lay down their lives in the Second World War, the last great crisis. We just had to lay down our plasma screen TVs. But would we do it? Would we shite? Well, that's it from me, from us. If anyone's watching this, it means intelligent life has evolved again. <laughs> again. I hope you can learn from our mistakes. I really do. Take anything you like from this archive, please. We achieved a lot. You may as well make use of it. Don't start again with gravity or penicillin or evolution. We sussed all that. It's all logged in the science section. If you get bored, there's more than 10 million novels in here. Most terrible, but... And movies? There's got to be a thousand absolute masterpieces. Try listening to Stravinsky if you're in need of inspiration. Or if you're feeling lonely, there's the Beatles and Elvis. Ella Fitzgerald if you're melancholy. Eminem if you're misunderstood. Manu Chow for dancing. Beethoven for thinking. Yeah.